Hi and welcome. My name is Dr. Paul Toot, President and Founder of National Premier Consulting and author of the book Acing the Medical School Admission Process. Today I would like to welcome you to our talk about successful study habits for the pre-med student. First I would like to thank you so much for taking the time to invest in your future. I am certain that the information that you are about to learn today will greatly increase your odds of becoming the most successful medical school applicant that you can be. Today we will look at the benefits and importance of good study habits. We will look at how you can develop these habits. Then we will look at specific benefits that you will receive from developing these habits. And finally, we will give you specific examples that you can implement right now. Let's get started. The importance of good study habits. Your study habits will carry over to the rest of your medical school training. The study habits that you use today are more than likely going to be the same study habits that you use when you're in medical school. So it is very important that you take the time to learn how to develop good study habits now. The other important reason to have good study habits is the fact that grades matter. We all know that your grades are directly impacted by the quality of your study habits. So it's important to have good study habits. Another reason why you want good study habits is because the grades that you receive will be on your transcript. And medical schools will judge you based on your transcript. So if you want to get accepted into medical school, you must have good grades. And therefore, you must have good study habits. These good study habit skills that you develop now will be utilized throughout your medical training and career. I want to dispel a myth. Many people believe that the only time they need to have good study habits is during their pre-med years and during their medical school training years. As a physician, I can attest to the fact that information and technology is changing at a rapid pace. If you are to keep up with this changing information and technology, you will have to learn how to study the new material to impart that information to your patients as well as when you have a discussion with your colleagues. So good study habits are very important. How do you develop these study habits? Well, the good news is that you can learn good study habits. You can improve and become an excellent student because anything that anyone else has learned, you have the ability to learn also. And good study habits is a skill that can be learned. I want you to model the top students around you. I want you to take the time to look in your classes and see what the top students are doing. I want you to even go further. I want you to walk up to these top students and ask them, what are you doing differently? Because I admire how you are doing so well in this class and I would like to do well also. I want you to ask for help. Most colleges have departments that are dedicated to helping their students learn good study habits and succeed in their learning at their university or college. I also want you to take the time to read books on this topic and learn what the authors have to say about good study habits. And then the most important part is I want you to put into action what you've learned because it doesn't matter if you read the information and if you get the advice, but if you don't follow it, it won't help you. It is key that you discover how you learn best. Many people learn differently. Some people are auditory, some people are visual, and some people are more hands-on or kinesthetic. I want you to discover the way that you learn best because then you will be able to implement that into your study pattern. The benefits of learning all that we spoke about so far are as follows. Your grades will improve. Because you will have good study habits, you will get more from the information that you are studying and your grades will improve. 
you will spend less time studying the material because you will be more effective and more efficient in your study habits. Your transcript will look better. Why your transcript will look better? Because your grades will improve. And we know that your transcript is directly important to medical schools because they look at this to decide whether or not to give you an interview. Once you acquire good study habits, you can use this for the rest of your life. Like we said earlier about the myth, study habits are not just used for pre-med and medical school years. They are used throughout and for the remainder of your medical career. Here are some specific examples of things that you can do that will help you with studying and developing good study habits. Number one, allocate specific block time for your studying. This is very important. I want you to decide specifically when you are going to study and allocate a specific amount of time that you will allow for that studying to take place. Plan your study sessions in advance as you would do for an important appointment. Set aside a time in advance, write that in on your calendar, and then meet that appointment at all costs. Let others around you know that you will be studying and that you would like not to be disturbed. This is important because when you take your studying seriously, then others will take it seriously also. I want you also to take breaks. Your brain can only absorb so much material at a given time. You need to take systematic breaks so that your brain can digest and go over that information so that you can be more effective. Don't cram don't just wait for the last minute and push everything in and, and go on these study marathons. Uh, studies have shown that the retention of that information is not going to be long. You may do well on the test, but then when that information is needed for the MCAT or for your medical school, you're going to have to learn it again. So it's better if you just take the time and study effectively by taking periodic breaks. Review early and often. You want to review that information. If you studied something that is new and never review it again, studies have shown that your retention of that information will be less. A majority of that information will be lost. So you want to go over that information again because you, you have chosen a career where your information in medicine builds on itself. So what you learn today is directly important and will be used as building blocks for what you learn tomorrow. At National Pre-Med Consulting, we love to give you bonuses, and today's bonuses are as follows. Find a study partner with similar study habits. You want to have study with someone that is taking their success seriously. I remember in medical school, <laughs> a lot of times we would get in groups and we would um, say, we're gonna study. And if you're not careful, you spend the time talking about everything else except studying and an hour is gone and you didn't study and you still have to go <laughs> and then dedicate an additional hour to learn that information. So you want to take your study time seriously and only study with people who also take their study time seriously. You want to use all the material and aids that is provided by the course provider. If your professor told you to review a certain topic outside of the textbook, I think you should do that. Arrive early to classes and find a comfortable seat. This is important. You want to be at ease when you're learning new information. You want to be comfortable. You want to be in a mindset that is ready to absorb the new information that is given to you. And if you get into the habit of arriving early and sitting down and reviewing your information and getting ready to learn, that does a whole lot in making you more receptive to that new information. And in medical school, the amount of content that is given to you within an hour is amazing. It's astonishing. So you want to be able, you want to be at your best. You want to be at your maximum so that you can get that information and retain that information. Ask questions during the lecture, if allowed, as well as also ask questions of yourself after studying the information. This will, again, help solidify that information into your brain. 
I want to thank you so much for taking the time and investing in yourself. And I know that the information that you heard, if you utilize it, it will greatly increase the effectiveness of your study time. I want to encourage you to contact us at uh, www.nationalpremedconsulting.com. We're also on Facebook at National Premed Consulting. I want you to like us on Facebook and tell a friend about us. And um, on Facebook, we have tons of information that will greatly increase your medical school application effectiveness. We have blogs, articles, as well as information about our free webinars that you can only get on our Facebook website. I'm also on Twitter at Premed Coach. And my personal Facebook page is Dr. Paul Toot. I'm looking forward to you to come and become a friend of us on, on Facebook. We have a YouTube channel, and my name on YouTube is Premed Coach. Once again, I want to thank you for taking the time and investing in yourself. You ought to be commended. And I know that if you utilize this information, you will be successful. And like I tell all of my clients at National Premed Consulting, if you are committed to success, success will be committed to you. Success to you. Success to you. Success to you.